Hello, all of my fabulous, creative, face painting friends. I am Brie Hopkins. I'm your rep here at the Face Paint Forum Shop. I'm here to show you this beautiful mermaid tail design. I'm really proud of it. So let's get started. I have a flat brush. It's a 3 4 inch brush. I'm going to start off with these beautiful under the sea looking colors. It's like a deep purple to a blue to a white to a pale green can be found on the mermaid and unicorn palette by Fusion. I'm starting off with these S strokes and I want to have the darkest color on the top because I'm using it to outline that mermaid tail. And then I'm flipping that brush over and doing the same thing on the underside so we get a beautiful outline. I'm also going to be doing a, their reverse V for the body of the mermaid tail. Bring it down the nose a little bit for that continuation. Next off, I'm switching to my small sponges. I'm a small sponge kind of girl. I do make my own split cakes, but this one is exactly like the Global Fairy Tale split cake. And this is just, oh my gosh, one of my favorite split cakes. I love it so much. So I'm starting with some eyeshadow there. And then this is the Dragon Scales BAM stencil. It's 1013 and I'm using the same colors. I want to keep them in a row so I get the purple to blue to green. Starting on the top, I'm going to actually add these all over the top part of my face. So on the forehead and then I'm going to go to the cheekbone. And these colors are sh shimmery. They're really, really, really pretty. Next, I'm switching to my little white finger dauber. And I'm pulling out my Boost stencil. This is the Boost Under the Sea stencil. It comes with this beautiful um, little uh, seashell, sorry. <laughs> and then it has bubbles and it has some little fish swimming and it also has a starfish. And it's only $3 for all of those. So I highly recommend, I think it's a must have. I'm using these little bubbles in the corners of my eye, kind of pulling the eye out. And if you see, my headpiece has some little pearls, so I'm just wanting to continue that narrative, and these bubbles kind of look like pearls. I have this Mermaid Scales BAM stencil. It's the 1307, and um, it's just some little scales. They're pretty cute. I made a mistake here, and I just took my sponge that was already loaded um, with the Global Fairy Tale colors, and, and then I just added the scales on top and I think it ended up working out really good. It was a happy accident, just like Bob Ross says. <laughs> I have my low Cornell number two. I'm just outlining that mermaid tail and I kind of sped it up because I took forever to do this. <laughs> and that's not really normal for me, but it is a new design, so. So I just want to pull in some little lines there. It's gonna make it look more like a mermaid tail. And there are a few little teardrops I'm adding. I wanted to make it look more ornate. It wasn't quite the way I was imagining it, but it's totally fine because I'm gonna add glitter on top of this later. <laughs> Glitter makes everything better, <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> so I'm just fattening out that bottom part to give it a little bit more of a weightiness. I put on some lashes and some eyeshadow and some lipstick while I was off camera. Coming in with a little fine makeup brush with my Mayron Star Blend of Black. And I just want to give that a little bit of a uh, shadow too on the mermaid tail itself, underneath the tail. And, um, and I do actually add this inside too, to just on top of like the bluish areas to give it kind of some fold look. Little folds in the tail, you know what I mean? I'm 
pr pulling out my chunky glitter. I have some silver chunky glitter mixed with a tiny little bit of Vaseline. And I'm using that with my finger and I'm just going to spread it basically all over the place, definitely all over the tail, the design, um, and around the eye area. Just really makes that tail look super shimmery, right? Like it's wet, which is awesome for mermaid tails. And also getting it on top of the eye is one of my favorite places to put it. I like to put it in the highlight zones. Guys, that is the design. And the rest of this video is just me feeling fabulous on camera with my face paint. I'm outside, it's a beautiful day, the sun is shining and making that glitter sparkle. Thank you so much everyone for watching and just keep, stay tuned, We're, we always have a bunch of cool tutorials. There are so many wonderful representatives at the Face Paint Form Shop just willing to give our information for free. So definitely take a look and um, stay tuned for more. Bye.